What's good, everybody? It's your brother, Mad Black, the most dangerous and the most toxic black man on the internet. And I am black up in your face again with some more pro-black commentary. So I know you haven't seen me in a little bit, and that's because I've been going through some personal struggles with my home. <laughs> Any of you out there who are homeowners knows that if anything breaks down or if something bad happens, it's all up to you to fix it. You know, it almost makes you wish you can go back to the days of having an apartment where you could just call somebody and they would come fix the problem. But when it's your property, you got to fix everything. And I had some issues with our downstairs guest bathroom where it actually flooded and there was literally water running down the hallway and down to the next grouping of stairs into my man cave and my daughter's playroom. So it was just a mess. And it comes to find out that some of the roots from my front yard tree have been interfering with the pipes. So the pipes had to be dug up and replaced and those roots had to be removed. And it's just been a mess. Just a lot to deal with. And it's not done yet. Still got to get some other things replaced in my house when it comes to the plumbing. But, you know, it's it's just been a lot and a lot of stress, really. Not that I can't afford to get it fixed, but, you know, that's not the, the point of the thing. The point of the thing is just the, the fact that you have to stop everything else that you had on your plate to go fix whatever is messed up in your home. And, you know, one of the things I'm not looking forward to is having to replace the rug in some of these areas that, you know, that that downstairs area had some steps that were covered with carpet. And now that carpet is all musty and damp and nasty, and it's going to have to come up and be replaced. That that rug is looking and smelling like Candace Owens after her snow brad gets up off the top of her when they're making another little mayonnaise baby. Oh, man, Black, why'd you say that? Why'd you say something like that? That's that's harsh. You shouldn't say stuff like that. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, speaking of Candace Owens, we're going to talk about her in this video. And I know there's some, some Negroes out there now who got their, their right-wing MAGA panties in a bunch. The fact that I even would say something like that and would get them all upset. And there's even some idiots out there who are not right-wingers or MAGA supporters who somehow think that just because Candace Owens was born to some black parents that she is somehow our sister and we should show some uh, amount of respect to her. I have absolutely no respect for Candace Owens. And very recently, she found out the hard way that, you know, not all all that glitters is gold. Not all the biscuits are as well buttered as she would like them to be because she recently got basically fired from her position at the Daily Wire. And it's because she had been making a lot of comments about Jews and, you know, basically just regurgitating a lot of nonsensical right-wing bigot nonsense, which is what she normally does. You know, that, that's that's typical for what Candace Owens does. There's really nothing different than what she's doing, but she just did it to the wrong people this time. You know, when they hired her, they only hired Candace Owens to degrade and to attack black people, okay? And, well, two twofold, actually, because I, I've noticed some of her content has kind of diversified in that she's supposed to be there to attack women and to attack black people. And if she can get black women in there, that's that's the, the ultimate uh, trifecta of things that she's attacking. And basically, she's there to, you know, attack those, that demographic and the Daily Wire can sit back and hold up their hands and say, hey, we're not racist. We're not sexist. We got a black woman saying this. You know, that that's all Candace Owens and people like her. That's the, their only purpose is to be a bigger proof vest for these right wing bigot organizations. But apparently she said the wrong thing about the right people and they have decided to kick her ass to the curb. Now, I've seen a lot of people on social media talking about this. 
And some people are trying to make it seem as if, you know, Candace Owens is a a victim of the war against free speech. You know, of course, a lot of people on the right wing side will say that, but there are also some knuckleheads within the Manosphere and the Manosphere cheerleaders. And there's also some people in the conscious community and the Hotep sphere of YouTube who are trying to make it seem as if Candace Owens is some hero. And because she said one or two things that might be right, that, you know, and the fact that she got canceled for it, that means she is somehow a hero and we should come to her defense. Not here. Not here at Mad Black TV. We don't come to the defense of traitors and scumbags. Okay? And I've seen people out there defending Candace Owens, and the, the, literally the only reason I'm doing this video is to come out and say emphatically and with no cut on it that we do not support nor defend Candace Owens. I don't care what happens to her, okay? Not, not, not one bit, okay? I don't care if she loses her job. I don't care if her, her financials fall apart. So be it. If she met with an unfortunate accident, I would not be out there crying and feeling bad for her. Okay, because, and the reason I say that is because some of the things that Candace Owens has done throughout her career as a professional white ass kisser have been so egregious and so disturbing that I don't see how any black person could ever run to her defense or just really any person with any type of human decency. But, you know, I understand that there are a lot of mayonnaise mutants out there that don't care and they don't consider black people human. So when Candace Owens gets out there and defends police murdering black people or they she comes out to demonize black people who have been murdered by police or vigilantes and make it seem as if that person deserved to die, right? That's what she does. Like she doesn't even wait till the person's body is out of the morgue yet before she comes out to throw dirt and, and more disrespect on their name after they've been killed, right? So she doesn't even wait for that. So when when you when your entire career and your entire being is based around that type of rhetoric and based around that type of extremely insensitive and assholish behavior, when your life is based around that type of fuckery, I have no sympathy for whatever happens to you. I don't. And a lot, a lot of people are calling, you know, Candace Owens a sellout. But sellout, the connotation of the word sellout means that you actually were at one time part of a collective and then you sold them out. Candace Owens was never part of any collective. She's always been about herself. And like a lot of these buck dancing Negroes in politics, she figured out that the only way for her to advance herself financially was to attack black people, basically, and just regurgitate a lot of bullshit talking points that have been debunked for the last 50 years or so. OK, but, you know, a lot of people will pay attention to her because it's coming out of the mouth of a semi young black female. OK, one that doesn't look like uh, Ben Grimm, like uh, Tyrannosaurus Burke or some of these other nonsensical black females on the left and what what Candace Owens has done is she's made an entire career out of basically being the mouthpiece for the right-wing agenda and she's paid by a lot of these think tanks to come out here and, and spew a lot of this garbage okay that's that's her her main benefactors and the people that put her out there to sell this trash and to try and get uh, black people or just people in general to vote Republican, which is is ridiculous. If Candace Owens or people like her were truly free thinkers, they wouldn't advise you voting for any of these people, whether they be Democrat or Republican. But you see, they still play within that political mindscape and that's that political realm. And I've even had a lot of idiots come to my channel or come to my social media and say, well, you know, Candace Owens just has a different opinion or she has some good points. A lot of you Negroes are going to let those good points march you right down into hell. 
That's basically all those good points are good for. All right. A devil can make good points. Hitler can make some good points. Right. But that doesn't mean you need to follow it. OK, because good points or getting certain things right by the wrong person can lead you down the road of destruction. All right. It's happened in history a million times and it'll probably happen again. But don't be confused by good points by Candace Owens. Also, don't be confused by her looks, because I've seen some Negroes even doing that, think, thinking that she's attractive and she is a good representation of how a black woman should look because she doesn't have tattoos and a red piss blonde weave or whatever and doesn't look like sexy red or Lizzo. So there are, so there are Negroes out there praising Candace Owens, and I've seen this from the black manosphere and their cheerleaders. You've seen some of your favorite manosphere buffoons like Anton Daniels and Melanie King. I've seen them all praising Candace Owens or reposting her videos and thinking that she is somehow a good representation of black women. She is not. She is not. In fact, Candace Owens is actually no different than Meg Thee Stallion and Sexy Red and Lizzo and all these other mammies out here that are controlled by white supremacy. She's no different. She might have a little bit of a cleaner image, but she spouts the same trash and the same garbage just from the opposite end of the spectrum. Negroes need to learn that there is such thing as controlled opposition out here and that white supremacy takes both sides of every argument. So when you think that, well, I'm getting away from the ratchet black females and I'm trying to go into this direction and be more like Candace Owens, then they got you there too with that trash. All of it leads to the road, is a road down to damnation. But Candace Owens just takes you there in a prettier package, I guess. For those who find her attractive, I don't. Okay, there's nothing special about her, not in her looks or her rhetoric. The only thing different about her is she's put together a great little marketing package for herself. And her reward for that was getting herself a snowbrad and a, a half breed baby. Okay, that was her reward for all the cooning she's done over the last several decades. And but once again, people seem to fall for it. But Candace Owens is nothing special, nor is she a hero, nor is she any type of freedom fighter, nor is she someone that should be trusted with any type of any type of moral code that you need to follow. Once again, all her rhetoric is just going to lead you straight down the path of destruction. Do not believe in these people. Like she's, to me, I, I use the same argument that I use when I'm talking about Kanye West. Kanye West is somebody who is mentally unstable, and Candace Owens is worse than him because she's not mentally unstable. She knows what she's doing. She's just criminally criminal minded and devious in what she does. She's someone who has figured out a way to make money for herself by destroying her own people. And I don't support anything like that. All right. So for those of you who think that Candace Owens is your hero because she spoke against the Jews or, or whatever nonsense you might think, or because she got fired from Daily Wire or whatever right wing place, it doesn't matter. And, and truth be told, it doesn't even matter that the fact that she got fired, she'll be OK. OK, she'll she'll pop up somewhere else spouting the same bullshit that she always has done. OK, she's not going to repent. She's not going to all of a sudden have a change of heart and decide that maybe she should say things differently or talk about other things. In fact, this might even ra radicalize her even more to the right and just make her uh, one of these ghetto gaggers for white supremacist bullshit. OK. So you folks can let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. I very much like to hear your opinions on what's happened to uh, the Duchess of Dirt Baggery and her losing her job at the Daily Wire. I, like I said, I really don't care. Whatever happens to her financially, that's just on her. And that, like I said, she'll be fine. She's got enough paymasters out there that will keep her, her going. And she has her own private social media where she can spout her bullshit 
So it'll keep on coming. It's not going to stop her. Okay. So anyway, you folks let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. I very much like to hear your opinions on this. Anyway, mad black, and I will be back with my foot on a devil's back.